सो ग्रीटिंग्स फ्यूचर सर्जन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एलाइटनिंग एपिसोड ऑफ अवर सूचिंग सीरीज एंड दिस इज पार्ट ट्वेल्व इन विच वी विल फोकस ऑन टू बेसिक सूचिंग टेक्निक्स विच आर असेंशियल फॉर एनी सर्जिकल ट्रेनिंग दैट इज द क्यूशिंग एंड कॉन सूचर्स सो एट दी आउटसेट आई वुड लाइक टू कन्वे माई हार्टफुल गैटिट्यूड to dr agawat for his keen observation and dr agawat is also our uh, esteemed channel member and his observation led us to identify an major error in this video as a result we have taken the necessary steps to rectify the mistake and re-recorded the video to ensure accuracy and quality so thanks again dr agawat we will remain ever grateful for your uh, observation and pointing it out so i hope you have already watched all the episode in this series if not do watch them and at least watch the series on lambert uh, watch the video on lambert suture because then you have a better grasp of this episode and as always we encourage you to put these techniques into practice under the watchful eyes of your experienced mentors your commitment to hands on experience is but will set you apart so fellow surgeons trainees app users get ready to immerse yourself in the world of cushing and corn sutures Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and join us in unra- unraveling the intricacies of surgical excellence. In 1886, Sir Cushing described this continuous seromuscular suture and you have to understand it is the same suture as the Lambert only thing is that it takes bites parallel to the incision line. So again uh, in Lambert we uh, take bites through the serosa muscularis propria and through the part of submucosa similarly in cushing these uh, parts are taken and we don't penetrate the mucosa so we don't enter into the lumen of gut we are trying to anastomose four, year, four years later in 1890 sir gregory connell described this connell suture this is through and through interrupted inverting suture placed from the outside on the interior layer but the, with the knots inside so friends uh, just remember in i mean in today's practical world we use this corneal suture while we are doing the hand sewn anastomosis and uh, as such you can well imagine that it is very difficult to take exact bite so that you don't enter the mucosa and you are staying in the submucosa and uh, you are also ensuring th- that you are always taking the part of submucosa so i mean in practical life as we also practice we take this as corneal and again always remember i am repeating myself that in any intestinal anastomosis you have to take the bite through the submucosa because it is the strongest layer Uh, the sheep intestine um, submucosa is the source of cat gut and you can well imagine the strength that uh, strength that you can make uh, ligature through the submucosa uh, the cat gut derived from the submucosa so always make sure that you take part of the submucosa in your bite and then you will have a lesser chance of leak and so on the same lines uh, if we try to navigate the needle so i mean delicately that we are taking some mucosa in thin gut and not taking the uh, mucosa so you may miss so practically as i said we always go with the corneal suture corneal suture or cushing suture for that matter uh, provides a good uh, apposition good tissue inversion and provides a reliable leak proof leak proof seal so the cushing suture goes through its rosa Uh, the muscularis propria and some mucosa but it doesn't penetrate the mucosa so the i mean the suture material is not exposed to the intestinal content and that may be the genesis at that time that they uh, they may have they may be thinking that we should avoid going through the contaminated uh, contents and that may lead to infection but as we know in today's world we are using better sutures uh, we are using uh, monofilament sutures so we always go through the uh, mucosa through and through and we are uh, using the corneal suture in practical purpose from this uh, pictorial depiction just understand the anatomy of this suture so the bites are taken parallel to the incision line we stay approximately 5 mm away from the incision length and we progress 5 mm or 4 mm for that matter whatever you feel comfortable 4 to 5 mm and we are not going through the uh, mucosa and we are taking always taking part of the submucosa and friends if you are watching this video on our youtube channel then initially as a free video you may be able to see only the part of this video the full video we will unlock in due course of time 
It is a repetition of talk that corneal suture extend into the lumen and mucosa is always taken in the bite of the suture. So this is the pectoral defection again in the same Cushing suture and corneal suture they are same except that in the corneal we have taken bite through and through and mucosa is taken. Uh, you will understand better as we demonstrate it uh, in the uh, surgery. And in addition to intestinal anastomosis, these uh, perfect opposing inverting sutures can be used for urinary bladder and uterus also. So let's start with the demonstration on suturing aids. So this is our surgical canvas which we have discussed in the first part and I hope all of you have already made this canvas and this is uh, lying somewhere in a good corner of your house where you visit at least once in a day especially in the beginning part of your uh, surgical career and uh, friends do believe me that this will help you to refine your skills a lot so in Cushing suture friends as I discussed that we go parallel to the incision and we are not going through and through these are a bit thicker pads and I mean uh, in practical life understanding is not that much thick and you stay superficial so we have not taken part of the uh, mucosa so we are just ensuring that uh, we have not gone through and through and then again we reverse the stitch again we take a parallel stitch and uh, this is on the opposite side so this will be a Cushing suture so in this part we are going relatively slow so that you understand and again we stay approximately 5 mm away from the uh, bone margin and we take a bite of 4 to 5 mm so 3 mm is good you should practice with 3 to 4 mm bites I mean the distance between two bites should be 3 to 4 mm and don't strangulate don't tighten it too much you have to just approximate the tissue in the uh, beginning part of your learning uh, trainees tend to over tighten it so assuming that it will provide more strength that's not true you have to just oppose the tissue and it will heal beautifully so here you can observe that it has given a very good inversion so continuing with that now we are demonstrating the this uh, corner suture so here we have again gone through and through we enter the part of the uh, inside the gut lumen and then we again we are coming back so it is a parallel suture and uh, as I said the basic difference between the two these two techniques is that we are uh, taking part of the uh, mucosa in corneal suture and in a similar fashion we will go other side and friends I mean how to hold the needle how to uh, use the wrist movements we have already discussed and if you are somebody who has just entered into the field of surgery do watch this whole series uh, and uh, that will help you uh, to have a smooth induction in this uh, field of suturing and again uh, basically the first year trainee or somebody who is just joining the surgery is the center of universe for us and these videos are not meant for uh, uh, surgical pros uh, if you are already a seasoned surgeon then you may not find uh, these videos relevant to you so again we have taken this interrupted corneal suture and it will invert beautifully as you can see now we will demonstrate the uh, these uh, continuous uh, corneal suture how to start and how to end so friends before we dive uh, deeper into the continuous suture how to start how to end the corneal suture uh, i have an exciting uh, news for you guys especially the new members uh, new viewers who have joined us so uh, are you hungry for exclusive content personalized guidance and supportive community of surgical enthusiasts look no further than our youtube channel membership these uh, membership you will have a premium access access to all the content especially the live surgery videos which we are not uh, I mean uploading on YouTube as a free content because of the different community guideline issues and uh, we have designed this uh, series these basically uh, different playlists to take your surgical journey to new heights 
when you become a member you gain access to wealth of benefits crafted specifically to nurture growth friends we have surgeons trainees across 60 countries uh, we have uh, registered members 1000 plus registered uh, app users approximately uh, we have uh, 6000 uh, members on youtube community so do join the channel membership to gain the full potential of these videos and becoming a member is simple just click on the join button below this video and choose the membership tier that resonate with your learning journey and in the beginning we recommend you to join the basic sd membership level uh, basically to have a good access uh, or you can join the premium uh, tab to gain uh, access to all the videos similarly the premium content is also available on app so basically to have a exclusive premium access to our content join the membership or download the app the link for everything is waiting for you in description of this video so with that one announcement out of the way let's resume our journey and now we will demonstrate continuous or the uh, continuous corner suture so friends in practical life we will only take a continuous sutures so interrupted suture were demonstrated to uh, basically to have a better understanding of the anatomy of the suture so uh, while you are like you just assume that these are the two cut uh, two margins of the gut you want to oppose together and you want to use the corneal suture so first starting i mean just remember that you always start from the healthy part of the intestine that is beyond the margin of the gut to you start from one corner from the healthy corner to another healthy corner remember that uh, the repetition leak at the corner so the first bite i have taken is beyond the margin uh, i may be a bit closer here but practically i will recommend you to go more farther from this uh, in season and so that you take at least a point uh, five centimeter or five mm of the normal uncut gut so first bite was taken in a parallel to the wound and i went in an anti parallel direction so that i went further to the upper side of the incision and second bite i came exactly opposite and it was a parallel so that will give you a good opposition and uh, here we are using pds 40 and it's a beautiful suture and in practical uh, scenario also we use this suture only so it is a bit thinner suture but i thought it would be better that we stay as close to reality as possible to have a better understanding so six to seven knots we recommend so first i went to the upper side then i came down side and now all the sutures parallel parallel to the incision and all the sutures towards me i went towards the down side of an incision so you have to follow these uh, tips and tricks then only you will have a good result so the second bite again i'll stay as close to the knot as possible and i take so the first bite i said stay closer to the knot not take smaller bite otherwise your contralateral bite will become uh, very far so normally recommended is 5 mm but here you i recommend you take only uh, 2 3 mm only and where i have exited on this side i'll go on the similar point on the other side and take a another bite parallel to the incision length so as you will practice and grow in your uh, surgical career you will modify these techniques to begin with just follow these uh, steps uh, i mean in letter and spirit this is corneal suture so here i am taking part of the mucosa also so we stay 5 mm away from the uh, incision and we are going slow so that you understand it better and again on the opposite side where we have exited so another mantra for the beginning is that you just remember that the our entry and exit is on the same surface or on the same side so it is outside in and inside out again it is outside in and inside out on the same side so that is the corneal suture and we will also demonstrate same steps on our this uh, gut basically artificial gut also and during the live surgery also and the live surgery will be exclusively available on our app and in the channel membership so you keep progressing 
so i have kept these loops uh, loops as a loose uh, to demonstrate you in a real life scenario some uh, buddy or your friend or your trainee uh, will be holding these sutures and uh, then you will be uh, inverting it beautifully and again don't tighten it too much it is the usual tendency friends to uh, apply too much force just oppose the tissue it will heal beautifully otherwise it will strangulate and will lead to ischemia and you can very well appreciate that how be beautifully it is inverting and opposing the uh, surface and the rosa is coming uh, i mean in contact with the other side so in a similar manner we keep progressing and the benefit of taking smaller first bite i mean the second bite i told you take smaller bite that all the uh, these uh, bites are basically perpendicular to the incision that you can see the threads are perpendicular otherwise they will come uh, i mean the uh, these uh, slanting and as you tighten uh, oppose then it will invert beautifully so as i am saying as i was saying this the reputation will leak at the corner always secure the corners to have good result another mantra will be don't apply too much force use good finer sutures like pds here and always go from healthy gut to healthy that is beyond the incision from one side to another and here i have crossed the incision length and then again i have taken another bite and i then i will take simple lambert suture here and will tie the knot how to tie the knots with the hands and all these tutorials are available do watch this series we have designed this series specifically for the beginners and i hope it you will find it useful so if i try to show you the posterior layer so here if this is whitish part is the mucosa then see how beautifully it has inverted and uh, good opposition good inversion that is basically the aim of these sutures so with that i have reached the end of this video friends Uh, i hope we were able to add some new insight to your knowledge do practice and uh, you have to keep practicing and keep i mean modifying these techniques these are simple uh, i mean guidelines for you and uh, we will also demonstrate uh, during the live surgery or in the gut demo as i'm saying as i was saying in the earlier part of this video so uh, that will add more insight so uh, remember friends uh, every stitch you make will bring you closer to the mastery and keep practicing and uh, as i said for all the premium access for all the premium videos do download the app and join our telegram group group also for all the updates and discussion the link for everything is available in the description and pinned comment section of this video i hope you have already liked the video and uh, hit that uh, hit that bell icon subscribe to our channel for all the updates so with that we wish you a happy suturing happy intestinal anastomosis leak proof intestinal intestinal anastomosis once and always uh, so stay tuned thank you very much happy learning